Well, hello everybody. It's Miss Betty on Farm Ridge, and I am getting ready to make a peach cobbler. I have all my ingredients out, and I'm just going to show you what I am going to use, and then um, I'll get back. I'll get back to you to show you exactly what I'm going to do. But I have some fresh peaches all the way from Georgia. Thanks to my friend, Sonny, that lives down the street. Thank you, Sonny. Because of you today, we are making peach cobbler on cooking on Farm Ridge. Now, what you're going to need to make this cobbler, it's very simple. We're gonna take these peaches. I'm gonna wash them very well. I'm gonna peel them. I'll slice them. And then we will cook them using a stick of butter. And I do use the uh, salted butter. We we'll use some ground nutmeg. We we'll use vanilla flavor. And we will use some sugar. But I'll come back and I'll show you everything that we are going to use to make our peach cobbler. And how we're going to do it. But first, let me get my peaches prepared. And then I will be right back. And of course, we're gonna cheat today. So we're gonna use self, um, I'm sorry, we're gonna use pie crusts that are already rolled and we'll just simply unroll them and cut them to fit our pan. I do have a nine by 14 pan. I think that's the size, nine by 14. So this is a perfect size for my peach cobblers. It's deep enough and it should not spill over. So this is Miss Betty and I will be back and we'll get those peaches on the stove. I'll come back and maybe I'll show you once I start. There's no need of you watching me slice and peel 20 peaches. This is what they look like. But I'll show you what they look like when I get them all peeled and ready to go on the stove, okay? I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back and I have my peaches peeled. They are so wonderful and juicy. I saved a couple. Just so you could watch me peel it. Of course, who don't know how to peel? But you peel them and you make sure you get that little core out of there and try to keep as much of the peach on the peach that you can. So you want to kind of peel them very lightly without leaving peel on the peaches. These peaches are so nice and juicy. And they have a lot of sugar in them. So that's going to determine how much sugar I use when I actually get ready to um, start adding my ingredients. So I have 20 peaches here. This is my last one. I've already peeled 19. And these are, on the, you know, they're a nice size. And I couldn't resist eating one. They were so good. Thanks again, Sonny, for sharing. So what I'm going to do is I'll finish this one. I'm just pulling them right over in my sink because they are really juicy and I would like to make sure, you know, that juice don't go everywhere. So we're all done. Okay. I have my large bowl. I always tell everyone, use a large bowl so that you'll have plenty of room to work with. If you use a small bowl, like for instance, if I use this pot, I wouldn't have enough room to do what I'm going to do. So now what we want to do is we want to take our peach and we want to cut slices about that big. Those are nice sizes. And I'm slicing them freestyle. And that's the core. So we just toss that. Slice. Slice. Slice and all the juice is going down in the bowl and that's great. Now, you don't have to only make your peach cobbler with um, fresh peaches. You can also use canned peaches. It's normally what I do. And I use them, I use the canned peaches sliced in the heavy syrup because that way you don't have to use as much sugar. So you can see these slices that I'm making. There we go. So we got quite a few to go. I won't make you watch me slice them all. So I'll go ahead 
and I'll get the rest of them sliced up and I'll come back and then we'll begin to add the rest of our ingredients. Don't pay my hands no attention. I have terrible hands. All right, so this is Miss Betty and I will be back. We're slicing peaches. My peaches are all sliced, and this is what 20 peaches look like. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take all my ingredients and I'm going to mix them in this bowl before I put them in the pot. Um, I'm gonna start off with a cup of sugar because the peaches are fairly sweet and I don't want my cobbler to be too sweet. Once I put them on the stove and they began to cook, I can taste the juice and I can determine if I need to add any more sugar, okay? And then we're gonna add some ground nutmeg. Use like a teaspoon, I'm just going to sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's my motto. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of flavor. And my teaspoon that I call a teaspoon is just one cap full. Pour it in. And then take my spoon and we're gonna mix it up. So that my mixture, this is going to be enough to make a two layer pie. So I'll put a layer of crust on the bottom. I'll add peaches. I'll put a layer of crust on the top, in the middle, and then I'll add peaches. And um, then we'll stick it in the oven in my preheated oven for 350. So here's my peaches with my sugar. They are making more juice because that's what I'm going to need. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and just pour them in my pot. The reason why I like to use large bowls is because I can mix better with a large bowl than I can with a small. So I'll go ahead and I'll add a stick of butter, just like that. And now I'm gonna put these on the stove. I'm not gonna cook them very long, maybe for about five minutes, because I do not want them to become mushy. I want these peaches to stay um, in a pretty nice form. So we'll go ahead and we'll put them on the stove. I'll bring them to a boil and then I'll turn it off. I'll come back and we'll go to the next process and that will be putting um, our cobbler in the pan. This is Miss Betty and I am cooking on Fawn Ridge. All right, so I have my peaches on the stove and I'm going to bring them to a quick boil. I did go ahead and add two cups of water because I wanna make sure that I have enough liquid in my peach cobbler. I do not want my peach cobbler to be dry. So whatever juice that my peach cobbler makes from the sugar that I've added and from the two cups of liquid that I added. That is the juice that we will put in our peach cobbler. I also have one fourth cup of water and in this I have some cornstarch. Some people like to use tapioca, some people like to use flour. I simply use cornstarch and we're gonna pour it in and that's gonna aid in the thickening of my juice. All right, so once this comes to a boil, then we'll transfer over to the other side and we'll go ahead and we'll begin to put our cobbler together. Meanwhile, I do have my oven, it's heating to 350 and then this cobbler will go in the oven. And when I tell you, these peaches look scrumptious. I'll taste my juice and see if I have enough sugar, but I'm gonna show you another trick that I do to make sure that I know that there's enough sugar because I have my little sprinkle sprinkle system that I use. All right, this is Miss Betty. All right, so I was having a problem with my peach cobbler with my juice was soaking up in the cobbler. So I learned this little trick from another lady. So you take your crust, you cut some slices, just like such. Just take your scissors and cut like a half an inch. And then what I'm going to do is we're gonna take and unroll it we're gonna lay it in the pan as such. Leave a space in between each piece because as that crust begins to cook, 
it will not absorb all of your juice and your peach cobbler will have more juice in it, okay? So, I've done that. My peaches are ready, I'll bring them over. There we go. So you want it to look like that and then add your peaches and that way you won't lose all of your juice. So, thanks. That was hot. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our dipper. We're gonna add some peaches. Mmm, this looks good. If you notice, I only cooked my peaches on the stove for about five minutes because I did not want them to be mushy because they're going to finish cooking in the pan when um, while my crust is cooking. So, now we'll add another layer of crust. Cut them in strips. Leave that space in the middle. Remember, I'm doing this so that my cobbler will not dry out and so that my crust will not absorb all of my juice, okay? So you wanna do that? Got one piece left. And what I'll do is I'll cut this one and we'll lay it here and we'll probably lay that one there. Okay, then we're gonna add butter. Add some butter here, a little dollop. I've already added a whole stick of butter in my peaches when I cooked them on the stove. So I don't want to add too much more because I don't want it to be overly rich, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll get this added. Can you see me okay? All right, one more piece. Then what we're going to do is, we're gonna sprinkle more cinnamon. Some, I mean, I'm using nutmeg. Some people do like cinnamon, but I choose to use nutmeg on my peach cobbler. Okay, then I like to take my hand and just sprinkle some sugar over the top. And then we gotta sprinkle some flour. This is going to make your pudding. That's what I like to call it. Okay. After we do that, we can go ahead and add more peaches. You can add little or less peaches, depending how you like your cobbler. I like a lot of peaches in my peach cobbler. Of course, that's why we call it peach cobbler, right? Make sure we clean off those sides. Gonna add a little bit more nutmeg. And of course, a little bit more flavor. And we'll just add a cap, which I call a teaspoon. And we'll just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle over. And then let's go ahead and add the remainder of our butter. Now, I did have more peaches than I needed. 20 was a lot for this pan that I'm using, so I'll probably just take the rest of that and just go ahead and make another small dish of cobbler. More sugar. And more flour. Cobbler is easy. Anybody can do it. It's really simple, and it all depends on how you would like to make it. Cleaning as we go. All right. So we added crust. We added peaches. We added nutmeg. We add flour. We add sugar. And we've added some butter. And now I'll go ahead and we'll unroll 
I like to stretch my crust. And then we'll take the knife and we'll slice it. I know I got a little quiet there, didn't I? Okay. Okay. All right. So let's take our crust, put it across our pie. Like such. And like such. I like to crisscross my crust. So once we get it going this way, and this way, and this way, that's about to be pretty. It usually take about three crusts to do a full pan. It's getting kind of warm in here too. It's a warm day to be baking, but when you have something that you have to do, you just have to suck it up. All right. Always add flour to your um, wax paper, and that will make your crust roll out a little more easier. Okay. Stretch. We've already went the long way, so I'll take my next crust, and I don't usually like this piece, so we'll move that. And we'll add this one across. We'll add this one across. And across. And what you can do is you can melt some butter if you like, and you can just take your pastry brush and brush it over your crust. Let's see, I'm a little thin one. How about that, you guys? What do you think? All right, then I take my scissors and I trim it. I'm hot. I don't know. I don't know how well this video is coming out, but it feels like work today because it's warm. Okay. And of course, before you put it in the oven, you always want to clean your pan off. And now she is oven ready. We've just made a peach cobbler. We have a layer on the bottom. We have peaches, a layer of crust. We have peaches, a layer of crust. And then we have just our crust on the top. Now, another little thing that I do sometimes, rather than to melt the butter, I'll just take my canola oil and I'll spray the top. All right, so now we'll put the peach cobbler in the oven. It's preheated at 375, and we will leave it there for about an hour and, oh, 30 minutes, I'll say, until my crust is prettier and brown. I'll come back and I'll show you that we have made a peach cobbler with fresh Georgia peaches. This is Miss Betty, and I have been cooking on Fun Red. You make it a great day. Don't forget to be a blessing. Be encouraged and remember to replace negative with positive all the time because that is what will make sure that you have a great day. All right, we have ourselves a wonderful, wonderful peach cobbler. It looks marvelous. I'll dish some up and I'll put it on a plate so that we can see what it looks like 
Thank you again for joining in to um, Cooking on Farm Ridge. This is Miss Betty. I also even had enough to make a small sampler. And this is my sampler cobbler. All right, again, go ahead and make you one. You can do this. Bye-bye.